Hi everyone, my name is Ifat, I'm an artist and illustrator. In this video I'll show you how to create a cactus on your iPad with watercolors. Let's begin. We're going to start our illustration with a calligraphy brush and draw a potato shape. So I'm drawing a potato shape and then filling it up with color. And next we're going to draw another potato shape, slightly different, similar size, maybe slightly smaller, and color it in. Okay, we have our two basic shapes now. And let's head over to the layer menu and add a new layer. We're gonna set this layer as a clipping mask. And next, we're gonna head over to our brush menu and pick our watercolor brush. Procreate has great brush selection under the artistic brush menu. I love the print sole and the hearts, but for this illustration, I'm gonna use the Taralea. As I draw in the color, since these are small shapes, I make sure I work very, very gently. My color will be very transparent and I would use my stylus very, very lightly. I'm not pressing at all on the stylus. Now with cactus, we can kind of go wild with the colors so we can blend in slight green to warm, to warm the colors up and I'm adding blue and since I'm working on a kind of a pink reddish background I'm working with colors that are from the cold scale of the color wheel so I'm working with purples and pinks and blues and if I want to warm my colors up I'll add a little bit of green and some touches of orange and all these colors blending in are creating a very nice watercolor effect for my cactus Alright, so this is pretty much the effect that I'm trying to get. And now I'm going to merge down these two layers and I can lower down the opacity to about 70% to help my cactus feel even more like watercolors um, were drawn in on my digital canvas. And the next thing that I want to do is separate these two cactus links and paste them in two separate layers. To separate these two cactus links, I'm going to select one, slide on the screen with three fingers, that's a short gesture, and pick the cut and paste. And Procreate is going to cut this shape from the canvas and paste it into a new layer of its own. From here, the magic begins. I'm going to start with the one on the bottom that's going to be the base of my cactus. It's slightly too big to my taste, so I'm going to make it slightly smaller. And let's head over to the next one and do the same thing. We can place the second cactus link on top of the first one, like so. And here is the tip to quickly pick a layer, just tap on it, and you'll see this small bar showing, floating on your screen showing that you picked that layer and that will save you the time of going to the layer menu and picking your, uh, each layer individually. And once I've got my layer picked, I can very quickly transform it and reposition it on the base of the cactus. If I want to create a slight variation of this piece, I can choose to distort it very slightly, make it narrower. And now that I've created a variation of uh, that piece, I can head over to the layer menu and readjust the opacity of this layer. Okay, and next we're going to duplicate another uh, piece of cactus and transform and adjust it. So in this method of working, we're picking up layers, duplicating them, and then heading over to the transform tool. And with two fingers, 
repositioning those pieces on top of the ones we already have on the canvas. We might want to uh, drag a layer so that it will be on top of the layers before. So the cactus will appear as if it's growing from the ground up. Now as my cactus keeps growing, I'm creating slightly smaller versions of the layers that I created before. And all I'm doing is, I'm not changing them a lot. I'm just slightly tilting them in different angles and kind of squeezing them down to scale them down. And now when all my layers are grouped together, I'm going to add a new layer and head back over to the calligraphy menu and pick the brush pen. And with a lighter shade than the colors I've used for my cactus watercolor effect, I'm going to draw very simple short lines. And these are the cactus thorns. Now you may say, hey, we could have drawn it once and then duplicated it all. But think about it, what we did to each cactus piece is reshaped it. With some of them we kind of squeezed and made them more narrow. Some of them we made smaller. So if we had done that illustration of the thorns in the beginning, before we duplicated our pieces, then our thorns would have been all in different sizes. Another reason to draw the thorns at the very last stage is that you don't want all your thorns to look uniform. Um, our eye is very trained in finding patterns and if we create the same pattern and then duplicate it, it will be very visible that this is what we did with this cactus. So to make it more interesting, we're going to take the time and really draw in every thorn individually. Last thing that we want to add to this cactus is those fun water drops and we can use a few different colors that are similar to the ones that we use to draw the watercolors and this is just a fun last minute touch for our cactus. Head over to the tab labeled as water in the brush menu and under that you'll find many brushes that mimic water drops and you can use any of them to create this effect. And this is basically how you draw a cactus with watercolors on your iPad in Procreate. We use several layers and work very very gently to create this uh, effect. I hope you enjoyed this illustration tutorial, do subscribe and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next art video tutorial. Bye for now.